Okay, Little Drummer Boy is a fairly straightforward um, Christmas tune uh, that is very pretty. It follows a pretty standard one, uh, well, it uses one, four, and five chords in a sort of an, a unique uh, way. So let me jump right in and show you. I'm going to be teaching you this to you in the key of C because I believe it's easiest to learn in that key, and I don't see any point in, in uh, us making it hard for ourselves. If you'd like to learn it in the original key or any key for that matter, click on my supplementary dress up trick link, which I'll put somewhere above here, and that will take you to a video where I explain how you can um, learn what I show you now in any key, okay? Uh, so anyway, the song sounds kind of like this. It goes on from there. Um, I'll, I'll put a video of me playing all the way through it too, so if you want to hear the whole version, you can uh, click on that above, in the link above as well. So, I wanted to show you that first part, okay? So basically, we're in the key of C, so um, we've got, we start with a C, so I want you to see how I'm playing this C major chord. In my left hand, I'm playing C, G, and C. That's pretty standard for me. Um, e, G, and C in my right hand. Now my pinky up here is gonna be taking care of the melody. But watch how I, I don't want you to be aware of that, but watch how it breaks down. Okay, so uh, we've got one, two, three. So you hold that for a count of three, and then you're going to do this. You're going to jump up. So just that much is what I showed you at the beginning of the, the C major chord, but then your right hand is going to jump up and with your thumb play a G, and then you're going to play a C and a D, and I'm playing that with my one, my three, and my four fingers. That's because it's going to be opening up in a second, so watch. So on that four, it jumps up, to, it just opens up so that my pinky is on E, so G, C, and E. My left hand's still pretty much down here. Kind of doing a little bum, 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 bum. Some sort of pattern like that. Okay? So one more time. You play that three times? Well, basically four. Okay, so that little part that's like that. All you're doing, if you look at it, is the outside of your right hand is moving up and down white notes. The middle note stays where it is. Okay? So, all together, that first part. repeat twice you're gonna then move to G's um, I also recommend that you try and sing along or even hum along as you play that'll help you f know when to switch okay so I'm gonna just show you that part up into the G and then we'll go from G Switch to G's. For the next part there. Alright, so that's kind of doing a similar thing but starting in the key of G. So your left hand is basically rumbling on G's. You can throw in a D here if you'd like as well. Okay, but the key is the G's. We're getting kind of low here so I don't want to get too muddy. And in your right hand, you're playing a G major chord. G, B, D, another G if you can reach it. And you're moving through like this. Basically these two. Basically these, this B and this D sort of go up by one note, uh, one white note each and create that little harmonic progression.
So basically what I'm doing there is I'm keeping track of where these two notes are as they move up and down and I'm filling in notes around. So I'll show you exactly what I do. You got the G major. These move up. These move up again. Uh, by the time they move up the fourth time I'm adding in this C down here. So it's G, C, E, and G. I'm sort of shifting my hand over to make sure I can get to these top notes. So C, F, and A. So let me back up and show you one more time. So that after you get to the C, that's as high as you go for this part, and then you start coming back down with those with with these two notes. Bum, ba, you know, I add in the C. Ba, 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 back to the G. So I know that's kind of hard to explain, but that's really the best way to do it. Um, see if you can just isolate this part. Play that part and sing along, just almost like chopstick style. Okay, so let me show you what we've got so far. Bum, ba, ba. Okay, now you're gonna keep, you're gonna almost pretend like you're gonna start that G section again. Uh, bah, bah, but you're only gonna do it three times. And on the fourth time, you're gonna switch to, you're, you're still playing a C in your right hand, but you're gonna, left hand is gonna switch to a C in earnest. Bah, 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 and then switch to the C. Bah, bah, bah. All right, now after this, it gets kind of interesting. You're gonna be playing a C7. So that's C, E, G, B flat, ba, 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 and you immediately walk down to complete the melody or to create the, uh, the melody. B flat, A, G. All right, so let me show you what we've got. Switch to G. Again. Now to C. Now to C7. Now you're at. Uh, so what I'm doing is. When it goes. Bum, 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 I'm doing a little walk up with my left hand. So it's C7. C over an E, and then basically to an F. So F, A, C, and F in my right hand. Uh, okay, and then you're, if you want to do the melody part, you're going to jump up and play an A, A, G, F, E, from A down to E, all white notes. After that, wait. Hand switches back to C's at that point. Now you're gonna do the same thing starting from G. And when you get to that D, you switch to G chord. So G's in your left hand, C, uh, G, B, D, and G. And then you kind of repeat that G section to a C. I'm sorry, you don't do that twice. So you're here on this G. You kind of hold this G for a while. And then it's as if you were going to start the whole song over again by going back to that C. But it's kind of like a false um, false restart. It's actually the ending of the loop. Just like the beginning part. And the difference is it sort of does a little 1-5-1 one, one ending. So 
let me just show you that C to G to C part. So this is like the ending little movement part. So you've got C, this little part that I showed you at the beginning. Ba, 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 ba. And, then, and then it goes G to C. Ba, ba, ba. And I'm playing this little like transition. So G, B, and D. And then the, these, uh, this B and the D switches to an A and a C. Ba, ba, and then back to the B and the D. And then resolves to the C. C, G, C, E, G, C. So I know this is a lot of stuff that I'm throwing at you. This is just kind of a complicated song, the way it breaks down. The chords are very simple, so if you know chords, you can come up with your own version. So let me show you one more time all the way through, and then basically you've got the main chunk, and you can uh, repeat that for each verse, all right? So I'll try to go slow here, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, uh, C. And that's it. That's about as good of a job I'm going to be able to do. I know it's kind of confusing. So take your time. Don't be frustrated if it's taking you a long time to get. Um, with some patience and practice, you can get it. I recommend you listen to the original, but keep in mind that the original is probably in a different key. Remember, if you'd like to learn how to learn what you just learned today in a different key, um, click on my dress-up tutorial. All right, so I hope this helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.